Hey guys, Carl here with another brief tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the repeat loop. Now, the repeat loop and the while loop are very similar, but they're exactly opposite at the same time. The while loop will do things while the conditional is true. The repeat loop will do things until the conditional is true. So, what does this mean? Well, let's set up the exact same program we did for the while loop. However, we're going to do it slightly, slightly differently and use a repeat loop. So, the while loop use the opposite of what I'm going to do here. Repeat it, keep doing this, until x is greater than or equal to 10. Alright? The while loop, the while loop use less than or equal to 10. Now the goal of this loop is just to print 0 through 10 onto the screen. So, we have our loop set up here. Now, we also need to actually display it. So we have to do what we want to do in the first place, display it. And then we also want to increment it. So 1 plus x, store that into x. Alright, so this program, when run, will go through all values of x. It will repeat this until x is greater than or equal to 10. So if we go to quit and then we repeat, there. It goes through 9. Why did it stop at 9? Well, if you'll look here, this is what we call a corner case. Because it stopped at equal to 10, because it stopped at equal to 10, it just skipped 10 itself. So, a couple of options here. I'm going to do this, make it greater than 10. So, that should include 10 now if we go to run it. Uh, there we go. Alright, so, we have our repeat loop. Other key detail about the repeat loop. The repeat loop will always run at least once. Key detail. If, let me just show you what I mean by that. I'm going to prompt for x, actually. So prompt for x, just so I can demonstrate this easier. So x, alright, so 12. Now it's going to check it. Even though x is greater than 10, it's still going to go through the code once. It's still going to display x, increment it, but it's not going to loop through it because it's already greater than 10. So it's going to display it. Now if I, what is x equal to? x is equal to 13. So, like I said, run through at least once always. Alright, so that would be all for the repeat loop. It definitely has its uses. Now, if there were some things you didn't quite understand, definitely go back, watch some of the other YouTube videos, get caught up on the subject. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, you could also go online, www.programminginitiative.com, assuming you're not there already where you can get plenty of reference materials, or if you prefer the written word, you can always go out and get a copy of Jumpstart TI Basic, written by myself, walk through all of this in quite good detail, at a brisk pace, plenty of examples, definitely recommended. And that's definitely another option. Now that's available on Amazon, so you have a bunch of options, however you want to consume your media, up to you, I'll leave that to you. Whatever you choose to do, I wish you the best. Happy learning.